Right, despite having a really bad night's sleep, because once again I was kept constantly disturbed from upstairs, um, so I probably only had about two hours sleep all night, but I just, this was my day out, and I shall rest tomorrow big time. Anyway, I've come from Weston on the bus, the 126 to, to Draycott, where I've, um, eventually I found, um, the place called Batch. Now, there was a Tesco's lorry hiding at one point. So I didn't see the sign and went walking up through the village on the main road, which is very dangerous. There were two strawberry shops. One I asked, they were very rude to me. So I, in the end, I said, oh, don't worry, I'll go and ask somebody else. Because I'd missed the sign, you see. In the end, the other shop, they were from a foreign and they didn't understand what I was on about, even though I had the map. In the end, I decided to walk back to the memorial, where, which was Batch, a place called Batch, leading up to here. Um, fortunately, there was a traffic jam, because Draycott's very narrow, and two huge lorries got jammed. So I was able to walk in and out of them, and uh, not have the nerve-wracking experience with no pavement, by the way, going through Draycott. But I think there is a back road, which I did ask the first strawberry shop, but they were very rude to me. They wanted to know where I was going. They said, oh, it depends where you're going. I said, I just want to know if there's a back road. They were quite rude. Anyway, the walk has started now. Here's some different views of the reservoir. And Brent Knoll, I'm just going to zoom. There's a tractor going by, it is summer, it's very misty. It's very misty because there's been a big fire near Castle Carey and um, I can smell it I and mean, I nearly went back because I thought it would be too much breathing in all the smoke but it's actually healthier up here than in Weston, where it's just hugging the valley. So there's um, Cheddar and Uxbridge Lake there, the reservoir. It's the, everyone's leaving Glastonbury, that's one of the reasons the roads were very busy. All the festival goers are leaving. Now a week or so ago, if not two weeks ago, I was up there. I can see some cows making their way up, which is good because they're going the opposite direction to me. There have been some tramplings. I'm not saying back round here, but um, anyway, I got as far as up on some of these peaks here. And I'm on the West Mendip Way, which wasn't, well, it is easy to find if you've got a blown, real good blown up map or you've got a smartphone and you can literally plot every yard of your walk as you go. See, I can see a walk up through there as well. That could have been another walk, but then that would have taken me straight into those cows over there. Anyway, the plan is to go to Pretty across about nine fields in a minute. Then if I've got the energy, and the time, of course, remembering the time, I will go to Ebor Gorge. But if I haven't got the time, I shall turn back and do Ebor Gorge another day. You can't always do it all at once. I don't want to rush it. I mean, Ebor Gorge could be an afternoon trip on its own, you see. Right, over and out for now so I can take some pictures of Cheddar down there. 
and the reservoir. Like I said, I don't really know what my plans are exactly. I've got a Scanlandon outline. Don't want to use all the video up straight away. Over and out.